dear students, you have uh, seen the operation of the different implements in the field in my previous uh, uh, class. Now, we would like to let you know as to how the implements are uh, attached to the uh, tractor and what are the different forces which are acting uh, on them and what are the more details of those implements which are responsible for various uh, performance attributes of the uh, implements. Now, so that is why I have uh, named this lecture as the tractor implement and soil force considerations for tillage implement design. Now, let us have uh, some of the important things which are there. Well, in this um, uh, uh, slide, I have given a very simple um, diagram which will tell you as to how the, the tractor is connected to a two water mold wall plow. Uh, certain forces which are acting, for example, the forces uh, um, at the um, reaction forces at the front axle and the rear axle, I have not shown them purposely. I just want to show some of the important things which are there and then subsequently when we will go to different uh, uh, slides and different uh, um, uh, analytical treatments, we will know about the more details of these. Now, let us have uh, a first item when the implement is connected, what is the pull that we would like to um, know about the pull of the implement. So, if you can uh, look at this pull of an implement is the total force exerted upon the implement by the power source. This is the, this is the force which is so pull talks of just cut to ye pen ko dikhane pa chalo pen ko jab change karna hai ha ek me jo pen thoda aaye to Okay. <clears throat> so, the pull as described here is an the pull of an implement is the total force exerted upon the implement by the power source. Similarly, the draft. Now, as we have connected the uh, tractor to this particular implement or the um, vice versa, we have certain uh, aspects to be considered. For example, what is the line of pull? That means, how the point is connected. See, this is a point where we are talking up, uh, about the center of resistance the po or the point of resistance. At this point, the three forces, you can see the W, which is the weight of the implement, P x is the uh, force along the line of pull and R x is the soil reaction forces, which are over uh, there. So, these are concent they are concentrated at this particular point. Now, when we add this point and the point of hitch, now this is the this is the point of hitch. In fact, here I have shown you that uh, the line virtual hitch. In case of a three um, uh, three point linkage, the hitch point is is slightly different and it is not at one particular point. In fact, it keeps on varying. For example, the um, uh, the point 
uh, obtained because of in a, in case of a three point linkage is if you extend the uh, top linkage backwards and similarly the lower links backwards it will meet at some point now this point is the uh, point which is, uh, is the hitch point but now since it is an imaginary point we call it the virtual hitch point and then this hitch point in a, in case of a real situation will fall somewhere uh, below somewhere this point below the transmission line of the tractor. So, we take that point uh, as the second point and then we draw a line imaginary line which is this line and this is called the line of pull. So, the line of pull is the line which is drawn or which is obtained by joining the point of hitch to the center of resistance in this case. So, the draft is so the force which is acting along this line is the is P V here and the horizontal component of this. So, the draft is the horizontal component of the pull which is parallel to the line of motion is the draft. So, we, we describe this as the draft. Similarly, the specific draft when we generally when we want to compare a particular uh, uh, implement with another implement we would like to uh, find we would like to compare certain specific value which is uh, independent of uh, the weights etcetera of the equipment. So, we will talk with respect to specific draft that means, what is the draft uh, force per unit of area of cross section um, of the soil handled and generally this is expressed as um, uh, just like Newton per centimeter square. So, this is specific draft. Now, side draft well definitely when the implement is uh, uh, being pulled by the tractor there will be a side draft which will um, come into picture. In you might have seen in the field that we have a um, land side and on the um, second uh, mold board plow you must have seen. So, the second uh, mold board plow you had seen that there was a longer land side. Now, the purpose of that land side is to take the side, uh, side um, thrust. And here, so the side draft which we are going to show over here is the horizontal component of the pull, which is perpendicular to the line of motion, is known as the side draft. So this this is the value which is shown here is R x. Okay, so if you see in totality, the definitions which I wanted to show over here are what where is the CG of the particular of a particular tractor which lies somewhere here this point is also not exactly known, but then we find calculate depending upon the weight distribution on the rear axle as well as on the front axle and the total weight of the tractor by taking moment about this point as well as or this point and then we try to find out what will be the approximate location of the CG of the tractor. There are various methods of finding out the CG of this particular uh, tractor but then this is what we want to show. The second is the wheel base. I have also shown you the wheel base in the uh, in the field, but again I would like to say that this is the distance between the center to center that means this to this this uh, L is this uh, wheel base and L 1 is given that the C G distance of the C G from the distance of C G from the center line of the rear axle. So, this is the value L 1 which is uh, a value which will be required when we want to find out the total uh, force required as well as when we want to find out the total power required in case of an implement which is connected to it. Well, the second uh, series of uh, definitions here mm, the drawbar power. Well, I have already said that in tractor uh, the drawbar is the uh, uh, linkages particularly the single point link or the double point link or the uh, three point is link uh, linkage. And uh, well generally those uh, two point linkage are not so much used uh, in our country as such, but then these are those are used for uh, uh, very large implements which are uh, trail type of implements which are supported. Uh, a portion of which is supported on the, the tractor and the other portion is supported on the ground. So, for that the, the second uh, uh, two point hitches are used, but the three point hitches are very much used and so we when we talk of drawbar virtually we will be talking of the uh, three point link only. So, the drawbar power what is this drawbar power? What is power by the way? So, power we know the rate of doing work is power, we, you, you are very much aware. 
So, here when you want to find out the drawbar power that means, if the implement is uh, being pulled by the tractor then how much is the power involved in, in that doing in that uh, task. So, that is given as draft here Yes. So, here <coughs> this is the this is the draft and the speed. So, if you mm, multiply the draft with the speed you can get the drawer power and uh, drawer power uh, well you, you see the draft is given as the kgf force and the speed here and you can get drawer horsepower. Generally we represent in terms of horsepower or uh, kilowatt as you wish this can be uh, done. Now, the line of pull as I have already shown you this line of pull it is the imaginary line straight line passing through the center of resistance and the um, point at which it is hitched. I have explained already that uh, this is the um, location which, uh, which is there and then this. So, between this this is the line of pull. So, the center of resistance is definitely the point as I said earlier at which we have the total weight of the implement then the horizontal and vertical forces including parasitic forces are acting at that this particular location. So, joining this uh, two points is the line of pull and I talked about the virtual hitch point and the weight of the uh, tractor. Now, we go to the next. Yes, well <coughs> Well, now mm, I just talked of the draft because uh, the moment we want to find out the mm, force requirement and how much is the power involved. All these uh, jugglery is uh, important because we are interested to utilize the maximum power of the tractor. The tractors are mm, 35 to 40 horsepower tractor, 50 horsepower tractor, but the implements which are being uh, attached to that are not in a position to utilize that much of power. And that is why we would like to find out and design and uh, have methods by which we can utilize the maximum as much possible the maximum power of the uh, tractor. Uh, particularly uh, this happens particularly because uh, the soil is a viscous elastic material and then it changes with this uh, moisture, it changes with the structure and many other things uh, with the climate it changes. So, you would require uh, uh, all these considerations to be taken while you want to design a particular uh, matching implement for a particular tractor. Now, there have been uh, various uh, methods for finding out the draft. Particularly, if you have a draft in case of a single um, a point hitch, it is easier because the single um, the tractor is pulling uh, the either a trailer or a, um, a small uh, implement just pulling it. So, we have just the uh, horizontal force and then that draft is known. But when we have a three point linkage hitched implement there are complications rise where we need to consider several aspects. For example, we need to consider the type of the soil which is there, the width of the implement and then we would like to see what is the depth at which this implement is um, operating and in different considerations are given. So, the American society of agricultural and biological engineers they have uh, devised or they have obtained a very universal uh, draft equation which is uh, given in front of you here. Uh, the various parameters D is the implement draft uh, which is uh, which has I have already explained to you by the way that the draft is the horizontal component of the pull and uh, pull is along the line uh, which is joining the center of resistance to the point of hitch. So, this draft uh, uh, represented in Newton n is equal to the way f j f j a b c these are the machine and soil parameters and s is the speed of operation w is the width 
um, of the uh, implement or uh, the uh, number of uh, tools or tines which which may be there in some of the cases and uh, t is the tillage depth at which the whole thing is uh, the implement is operating so using this equation it is possible and all over the world uh, scientists and engineer agriculture engineers are trying to find out the draft now these are uh, predictions and these are uh, analytical values which have been found out over a large uh, 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 large experimentation uh, with respect to different types of soils now you can see the soil parameters and the machine parameters now the machine parameters here a b c and the soil parameters f1 f2 and f3 here now they will come uh, depending upon see fj talks of a dimensionless soil structure j is equal to 1 is for fine soil, 2 for medium and 3 for coarse structured soil. Now, for the machine parameters A, B, C, see you suppose mold board plow whose width is assumed in meters, then the value is 652. Now, if there is for a offset disc arrow, if it is being used for a primary tillage, then the value is 364, secondary tillage it is value is this. Similarly, for cultivator, uh, if it is for primary tillage, secondary tillage accordingly the values are changing. Now, the, the soil parameters are more or less same, you can have a look at this as more or less same. Now, what has been found out and what has been said by the researchers and the uh, uh, scientists who have devised this formula, uh, the equation is that the, there, there is a percent variation if you find because of the various uh, take they have taken soils of various uh, tribes and locations. So, you will find that uh, this value varies from as low as about 25 percent to as high as about 50 percent uh, both ways plus and minus. So, this will be the variation you will get. That means, this although it is said to be a universal draft equation, this need not be the one which will give you exactly the draft of an implement when it is attached to a tractor. Well, a similar equation has been developed at IIT Kharagpur. Some of our uh, colleagues in the Department of Agriculture and Food Engineering have developed a similar equation, which we call that as modified ASAV universal draft equation, and it has been published. And the the um, uh, the um, authors are um, Tiwari and Pandey. Uh, um, the details you can get uh, if you look for this particular paper. Now, here also you can see that uh, the equation is more or less similar except that certain parameters have been added here. For example, there is a factor k 1 which has been acting, um, added over here, there is another factor k 2 has been added. Why so? Because when we wanted to um, actually measure the, um, uh, the draft of a particular equipment uh, and then use this equation, we found that there was a large difference this was not predicting as close as was the actual value. And that is why they um, uh, after a large uh, number of experimentation in uh, lateritic uh, um, sandy loam soil, sandy clay loam soil, they found out that there is a need for adjustment of this particular ASAB equation to suit to Indian conditions. And therefore, this k 1 and k 2 were added. Now, these correction factors k 1 <coughs> this correction coefficients k 1, k 1 is uh, these are the values for k 2 these are the values. Now, they have um, accordingly as per the um, equation which remains same uh, initially, we need to add these k 1 and k 2 to suit the uh, conditions of uh, our soil. Uh, we can see here that we have written k 1 and k 2 are in additional uh, correction coefficients for Indian soil conditions. That means, uh, the the value which you will get for draft using the uh, ASAB uh, AB equation is not necessarily the value which will be there in a, a condition for uh, Indian soils and that is why this has been made. Now, it remains to be a question as to whether this will be uni can be called universal or whether this will be suited to any other country or not uh, that is a question mark. So, we would leave it to at this stage itself saying that a modification has been made at IIT Kharagpur by large number of experimentation 
and these values depending upon the Indian soils the values k1 and k2 the factors or the coefficients k1 and k2 have been added to this equation which is given like this. So, uh, this definitely gives as close as possible to the data or the draft measured by implements which are used in India uh, with the uh, tractors. Well, now we have seen that uh, the two equations. Uh, I would like to place uh, in front of you uh, a, a problem which will talk of how uh, these can be used and what will be the um, difference. In fact, it is very amazing that you will get if you use the um, uh, original ASV equation, you will get a value virtually half the value which is there for Indian conditions. Well, uh, you can see that the um, draft is to be calculated for a two water mold bulb plow. It is operated in fine soil condition. So, we know about the soil condition and the machine parameters have been taken from the table, uh, the table which I showed you earlier. So, it has been taken from the table uh, 652 beta is 0, b is 0, c is 5.1 according the coefficients also. Now, uh, these the researchers uh, Tiwari and Pandey have also given this uh, for the different uh, machine parameters k1 and k2. So, using this we find that uh, the value of d for um, a two bottom mold bulb plow operating in fire soil conditions this value will be there, but if it is used uh, with the modified uh, equation you find the value is this. So, virtually you can see that uh, more than about 50 percent uh, increase in the value. Now, this remains uh, to be questioned if somebody wants, but otherwise if we have to say that uh, under Indian conditions we would take these values, because then when we want to design the um, implements or uh, um, decide the power source for these, we will have to take this value itself. And that is why we would like you to understand that these equations for Indian conditions you may use this equation and then. Uh, does not matter the value is high, but you can use this for uh, design of the equipment. Well, now we talk of the mold bulb plow. Now, I wanted that you should have some idea about we have seen the mold bulb plow in the field and uh, you have seen its operation also and uh, you have seen that how it was operating and uh, inverting the soil but then you must know what are its components. Uh, many times the students are not um, aware of the different components and the purposes of those uh, elements or the components which are there in the tractor it is just for your knowledge uh, which will help you in uh, appreciating the size and appreciating the uh, de design of the mold bulb plow. Now, you see that we have <coughs> a cutting edge here. Now, this is the cutting edge, but this is Now, is this the um, cutting um, uh, this is the shear point, but the depth is um, the cutting edge is uh, through this here. Now, the cutting the furrow slice. So, the purpose of this um, the type or the this the shear here. Now, you can see this portion or this portion is to uh, cut the furrow slice. Then lifting the soil and turning the furrow slice is done by the mold board. Now, this is the mold board here. So, this is the, this portion in the job is to lift and turn this. So, it goes like this and then falls like this, this falls on this. Now, <coughs> the three point hitch you, we have discussed that this is the uh, attachment for the uh, implement this tractor to the, tra um, uh, the implement to the tractor these are the um, three points you will require to be attached. Then this is the main frame of that. Now, we have a point a and a component which is known as frog. Now, this component is very important. In fact, we have said that we have this share here, this is the share. Now, we have the mold board and then we have the, um, uh, the share and the um, cutting blade and the mold board. So, um, and the um, and the land side. 
So, in order to connect these we have a frog here, we have a frog over here. So, this frog, um, this frog is the one which attaches these three together and the purpose of this land side is very important. You can see that in the front one uh, this is a slightly smaller as compared to the rear one. The purpose of this is the land side is make the clear furrow wall and take the side dress of the soil. This is very important. Well, different types of mold board. Actually, um, uh, although these are not very much used uh, nowadays, you might have seen that the mold board itself is not very much used because of other uh, types of equipment which has uh, been available and the farmers are uh, farmers are using mostly even cultivator is most of the time use, um, used as a uh, primary tillage equipment because we are trying to conserve the soil uh, moisture and that is why we do not go to first opening of the ply by the by the mold board plow. So, but we would like to just tell you that these are the different types general um, purpose type then the um, sod or breaker um, sod um, mold board plow then the stubble mold board plow and the slat mill plow. These have their um, their uh, requirements particularly the general one purpose is mostly used for all sorts of operations which you find here. Then uh, the uh, breaker type is for a um, for Yes. Well, uh, the the this is for in, in inverting the furrow. Then, <coughs> slat bottom type. This is this is for uh, extremely uh, used for uh, sticky soil conditions. And the stubble bottom is for uh, mold boards uh, that is um, uh, curved and rather abruptly uh, near the resulting uh, um, near the top resulting in a greater degree of pulverization this increases the pulverization this type of uh, the mold wood plow. Well, these are the different uh, types, but generally uh, they are not very much in use now. Yes, attachments to the plow, where there are um, important attachments when you have might have seen this jointer and coulter. The purpose of jointer is a, a small miniature plow just like that and it cuts the soil uh, uh, top portion of this um, slice and coulter is also um, cutting the soil and it moves ahead of the plow bottom, it moves ahead of the plow bottom. But uh, you may not find this uh, in the uh, other tractors which are um, there now. Adjustments with the moldable plow, these are two very important adjustments. Sometimes when we want to increase the depth, then the adjustment is the vertical section which is over here, vertical uh, section here and then horizontal section at this place. So, the horizontal section, vertical section which is about uh, 3 to 5 mm, millimeter is helpful in uh, increasing the depth and this is uh, one which is important for uh, giving a proper width of the furrow slice. This is uh, important for that. Forces on mold board plow, well mm, we have shown already these uh, forces on mold board plow. Generally uh, mm, as I showed that force of gravity at the implement which is there, the weight of the implement, then the soil reaction forces and the forces exerted by the prime member. In case of uh, rotary mm, power source, if the power, rotary power source is not involved, the resultant of these forces is the pull of the 
power unit uh, upon the implement. Otherwise, we have the soil reaction forces which talk of two items the soil forces and parasitic forces. So, the useful soil forces those which are to for cutting then for breaking and moving the soil while the parasitic forces talk of the friction and the rolling resistance of this. So, these are the different types of forces which will act the when the implement is um, connected to a well a, um, a problem has been also shown to you and uh, it is a very simple problem once you know what is the type of uh, uh, the cross section with a moldboard um, a plow uh, um, goes through in this for you should be in a position to find out what is the total um, cross section of this and once you know the soil resistance you should be in a position to find out how much is the draft and once you know the draft you should be in a position to find out power because we have already said that draft uh, and power and speed once multiplied will give you the total power here. Well, students I have now explained uh, in detail about the mode world plow along with uh, a small problem. Now, I will continue with the details of other uh, tillage equipment like disc plow, cultivator etcetera in my next class. Thank you.